what would it take to sort of undo the damage of the Civil Rights Act in America, apart from like <laughs> a Caesar? Uh, and, uh, and answers like, in which I cannot say um, without getting a, a knock on the door. Um, no, I, I, I mean, realistically, I like to appeal to like repeal it would be impossible, right? I don't know how. Well, you'd have to find a case. And this is the thing: you would have to find injury that would be brought before a court of law and that you would have to somehow work your way up and pose a constitutional question uh, to, before the Supreme Court of the United States. Now, it looks like in the time being, it looks like based on the feelers and the insiders that we're supposed to get rid of affirmative action soon based on the Supreme Court. But I mean, you know, at the same time, right, as Mellon said, they also said getting, repealing Roe v. Wade was impossible as well. So uh, I don't know. I, I, I just I don't know. Um, and yes, Jay, uh, that's, that's, yeah. if you just tuned in and you heard that, welcome to the show. Uh, we're glad that you're here, but, um, Sneed that's, super chat. That's, that's hmm. Sneed away. Yeah. I mean, Clarence Thomas writes the one O decision, but that's the problem is if it's a one, one O decision, it, it, it's not yeah. precedent. You have to have, uh, a five opinion majority because there are cases where like multiple people are on different opinions and they, um, uh, yeah, they'll have plural opinions, but they're not the majority opinion. You do need a, a majority one. Legality is fine, but like it's as long as it's still also within the hearts of men and women, it's also going to be a, an issue, right? Exactly. Because, I mean, everyone, like I, anyone who's been through American public education, myself included, will tell you that like, what are the big things that get covered? Like the Civil War, the Civil Rights Act, World War II, and that's kind of more or less it. You would yeah. need to, again, like, and this is why I sometimes question, like, the the power structure bit about uh, some of the things that Yarvin says. Because he's like, if you take over and you win, those pod people, they're your pod people now. And they're I'm like, they're oh, your pod people now. They're, but they're not. Because, you know, no, Trump took not. over the White House in 2016. And what happened between him and his inauguration were all these alternative departments of education, alternative departments of interior um it, it, it's yeah i was gonna say i was gonna get to that yeah go ahead pretty yeah, yeah you you can't like that's the thing you have to destroy that you would have to be able to fire these people writ large which is why i am happy with the idea that from trump's camp about schedule f that would just say like you have to fire all these people and have is a bloodless possible regime change as possible where you just get rid of the entire um you know, civil Apparatus. service and, and, and replace them with your own people. But that's not, it's physical. it's, it's legally and physically, well, I don't think it's physically possible. You should do it anyway and let them enforce their own laws. But uh, it, no one, no one's had the gut so far to do that um, so far on the right. So yeah, it's just, a, it's a, it's a disaster. I mean, if you got rid of the legal superstructure, great. What happens next is um, if not outright rioting and outright racial um, conflict in major metropolitan areas, then I, I don't know what happens there because colleges would still institute their own form of it. And they would probably uh, advertise themselves as education centers for higher learning that still adhere to these progressive values. Yeah. Um, so I, I just, it, it, I always, this is the thing is I haven't given it enough thought, but my, my chief concern, it's the same question I've, I've asked people like Jeremy Carl and I've had discussions with others where it's um well uh what's the word i'm looking for uh it's like that it's like the ex after the credit scene of finding nemo where the rest of the fish escape the dentist's office they their, their elaborate crazy plan about getting into little baggies rolling out the window surviving the car you know uh, across the street and getting into the ocean and they're free uh, and they get into the ocean and then they're all still trapped in their little plastic baggies filled with water and then the uh exactly javier oliva they ask now he asks now what um, and I don't yeah. think anyone's asked that question, right? I don't think anyone's asked it yet or has looked into it. I could be wrong and I need to find those people. But yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> um, mm. yeah, that's right. We, we reference um, Finding Nemo on this podcast. You're absolutely right. Uh, welcome to episode 45 of the Digital Market. Yeah. But um, that's what I mean. Like, I, I feel like the Republicans, they have like a vastly, like, and Mulbug does this too, that gets a vastly uh, simplified notion of how power operates in America. Because on the federal level, if you were to strike down a significant chunk of the Civil Rights Act, you would still have a lot of these state like activist legislatures and, and school boards and elsewhere that they, you know, all these like legal fair type of people that are willing, like these army of like, you know, libtarded lawyers that are like willing to like do the bidding of the Democrat Party. Like that's what the political left is good at. They're just they're very good at like stalking um 
all of these apparatuses, these decentralized organs of the institutions with people that are like, you know, basically bio Leninist soldiers that are like willing to go and do the bidding for this higher purpose. And it's very like, there was a video going around recently of like this Muslim woman. I mean, she's probably not even a real Muslim. She's probably like an atheist, but she's like about like, I'm a lawyer and it's about racial justice and all this, like, you know, justice isn't blind, even though that's probably like the first thing they teach you in law school is that justice is blind. Like that's a total farce. Right. But it's, it's very funny because I had this thread that I deleted because I don't know, I'm paranoid recently um, about like, you know, actually when you want to talk about assimilation, she's, you know, to quote the boomer cons, she's probably more American than most Americans, because it's like, if you go by America being like the current monoculture that is enforced, um, then, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like, that's some activist, like judge or lawyer that comes from, you know, wherever it's like, yeah, there you go. Like, so that's what I mean. Like, it's, it's very like, simple to say that republicans can control the supreme court or they can like you know control the senate or whatever they could like pass legislation but there's like a whole army of people in in places that historically haven't gone to the right wing or you know to conservatives and it's like what are you going to do about that unless you're willing to have like a form of caesarism which i mean maybe inevitably you know spangler is correct that all civilizations in their democratic phase in the winter, they will inevitably t pull towards Caesarism. But even still, like maybe, you know, I don't want to black pill, but, um, you know, Scott Greer, you know, for his, to his credit, he did pose that question that we've talked about before, like what a, like, uh, like maybe Caesar would come from the left, you know, it would be a Stalin-esque figure, but who knows? I mean, that's probably too black pilling. I don't know. Um, Lord only yeah. knows. Um, and but I'm yeah, like the whole like I'm usually skeptical on that stuff, anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ra reality, like, reality, what are you do? reality's not a. It, it's both a big black pill, but it's also a very good red pill for people that adventures of the man who just started paying attention. Um, <laughs> but the more you start paying yeah. attention, the more black pill kind of becomes. Uh, but you know, forty minutes in, and there's no Ryan Gosling. Kino. Well, just like forty minutes in, there's no more Ryan Gosling in the movie. So there's there there's, you go. There's, there's your Kino for you. I guess there's your transition. Uh, and Should we talk review. about the movie first, or the yeah? Gaston? Let's do that. People deserve the all right. The, the, the Kino first. Oh, Gavin Newsom tweets. They have been. Gavin cool, Newsom man. will probably run. Oh boy, he'll probably run. Oh, I can't wait for what the digital archipelago is going to look like next year. 